Welcome everybody to this episode of Pinch Out's Garage, and we got a quickie for you, and we call it the ball joint trick. Let's get to work. Mmm, yes, 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 yes. yeah. Now, if you have a ball joint that's on its way out, and you need to replace it, but you don't have a tool, and you don't want to take out the spindle, or you don't want to take out the control arm to get access to it, have no fear, the quickie is here. So, if this is an original ball joint or a good ball joint like OEM style, you should have more than enough thread, all right, for this nut to hit the axle. And so what we have to do is unbolt the pretty much the ball joint, and we're gonna unbolt it until it hits the axle, and we'll show you what to do next. Now, if you guys can see here, I've already unbolted the, ball, the nut onto from the ball joint and now it's hitting the axle right here. So, the pressure from the bolt hitting the axle should, in theory, pop the ball joint. Okay? The thing is, is that you got to get enough pressure on there to do it. So you just got to keep wrenching it. And eventually, you'll hear a loud pop. Just keep an eye on it. It'll do it. on camera finally so <laughs> took a minute but I got it to pop out finally <laughs> um, it's just that that bolt was that uh, that uh, ball joint was stubborn but that's the ball joint trick pretty much keep going and going and going until you get it all up and then you, you can take the rest of it out just like that. Now, to put the new ball joint in, obviously it's a little different because now that nut is that's a locking nut or a nylock, just so you guys know. Um, nylocks pretty much have a, a nylon insert in them, and they're hard to take out without having a counter way to hold the ball joint. So. To prevent that, you grab a jack, put the jack on here, first thread the nut on top, okay? First thread the nut on top as much as you can go, then put a jack on here, and then just start wrenching away, tightening it back down, and it'll, it'll pretty much hold it. The jack pressure onto the spindle, the ball joint, will prevent the, the actual bolt from spinning, and you'll be able to tighten that nut all the way in. And that is how that is the ball joint uh ball joint trick here at PTL's garage peace out and hopefully you guys enjoyed that you guys thank you